my name's Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay you guys, happy new year and happy Veganuary. I'm super excited to say that Veganuary is starting today. And for those of you who don't know what Veganuary is, I'm gonna leave a link down below that's gonna describe it a little bit better than what I'm about to do right now. But essentially it's where people pledge to go vegan for the month of January. You can actually do it at any point throughout the year, but generally speaking, most people do it in January. And so for those of you who are participating this year, I wanted to show you around my kitchen and show you what vegan items I have. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> we need to go grocery shopping. So this isn't gonna be as full of a kitchen as it usually is. We're actually going shopping this Friday. But I can at least show you some of the items that we carry around a lot and that we just like always have on hand. And it also gave me an excuse to like clean our kitchen because you're gonna notice everything looks really nice. It doesn't normally look like that. Our kitchen is usually a huge mess. But let's go ahead and show you all of the vegan things that I have in my kitchen today. Let's go ahead and of course we're gonna start with the fridge and freezer. Also say hello to my mama. Say hello to both. Yeah. Okay, now on to food. So up here we have just a bunch of different sauces. This is a vegan ranch by Primal Kitchen. It's actually really good, you guys. I really, really like it. And then we just have some like, this is a soy sauce back here. This is a teriyaki sauce and it is vegan as you can see. Use this. Oh yeah, we have a Texas barbecue sauce. This one is also vegan. We have some lime juice. This is some bell pepper strips. We have some jams. If we head down here, got some vegan Caesar. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like this. <laughs> I probably would not recommend this. Uh, it just doesn't have much flavor to it and it's also kind of runny. I also have some capers. We throw this in these like vegan lobster rolls that we make and they are so good. I love capers. Lowell's parents make a lot of veggies for us so this is one of the things they made. There's also like a ton back there you'll see later on. We have some more sauces right there. This is vegan Worcestershire sauce. One of the things I was sad to see go was Worcestershire sauce, but uh, this stuff is pretty good. I really like it. We also have some tahini, which you're gonna find out is like a vegan staple. A lot of vegans use tahini. We also got that. Okay, let's go over to the other drawer. We have our vegan butter up here. We usually carry Earth Balance. That's what this is in that container right there. I just got this in my Vegan Cuts video, but hopefully I'll put out a video of this soon-ish just because I wanna try it out. Okay, moving on down here, we have a lot of mustards. We have this guy right here. Oh, what am I doing? I could do this. One of those nice fridges, there we go. Okay, so yes, we have some veganaise. If you're looking for a vegan mayonnaise, we love veganaise. They have some like this. Their regular is also really good. We just like this for a particular recipe, but they also have some other flavors. We got some mustard. This is a vegan beverage. I got Spicy Chai by Rebel. And then I think this was some sort of fruity one. What is this? Berries and cream. And this one is also vegan. It's made with coconut milk. And then this is actually a salad dressing that I got up in Northern Minnesota that I'm obsessed with. It's so good. Okay, moving on down here, we have a hot sauce. I love my hot sauces. This is a golden mountain sauce. My husband loves this stuff. We got some sweet chili sauce, which I'm obsessed with, some lemon juice. This is liquid aminos. I like coconut aminos better, but I accidentally bought liquid aminos, so this has been a slow, slow process, but we're getting, we're getting there. Ripple milk, you guys. If you do not know what milk to buy, what's nice about this one is it has eight grams of protein, which is pretty common and comparable to most actual dairy milks. So this is gonna have a great source of protein in it. Also it has omega-3s in it, which is amazing. And you get 50% more calcium than milk. It also has vitamin B12, which is so good. So we buy Ripple milk a lot now. Alrighty, let's dig in here, go to the rest of the stuff. Let's go in the veggie drawer. Normally this is jam-packed a lot more, but like I said, we like have to go grocery shopping soon. But we have these mini bell peppers. We keep around red lettuce like this because it stays for a really, really long time. Like this stuff is just incredible. We can keep it in our drawer for months and just take off a few leaves here and there and it stays good for such a long time. And we use this in our vegan sushi. We also have a bunch of carrots. We use carrots in almost everything. 
This is some lettuce. I think it is green and purple lettuce. I'm gonna be using it in a salad. I also picked up some baby kale for my salads and Yep, both of those are baby kale. If you go over here, we basically have this be our cheese drawer and sometimes we'll throw in some other vegetables that maybe should be in a different humidity level than this drawer. But this is from Herbivorous Butcher, which is a vegan butchery shop in Minnesota. This is their vegan herbed feta. It is so good, you guys. I actually have this for a different salad I'm gonna make this upcoming week, which I'm super excited to finally make. This is also from Herbivorous Butcher. It is their smoked Gouda. You guys, if you're gonna get any type of vegan cheese from Herbivorous Butcher, smoked Gouda, it's so good. We also have some Parmesan by Follow Your Heart. You guys, this Parmesan stays good for such a long time. So if you're looking for a Parmesan that you can add onto pizzas or certain recipes, this is a great one to go for. Violife, if you can get it, is amazing. It's so good. I love their cheddar. It's probably my favorite vegan cheddar sliced cheese ever. It's just so good. And then down here, this is actually uh, Miyoko's cheese. I don't remember the exact flavor. It's probably like smoked something, but this is also uh, a bit more expensive. Miyoko's is generally speaking a lot more expensive than some other vegan cheeses you can get out there. So this is like special date nights we get this. So New Year's Eve, we chow down on that. Okay, up here, this is actually from Blaze Pizza, which is basically like Subway, but for pizza. And I got some vegan pizza right there they have vegan pizza which is amazing the crust their regular crust is vegan uh regular sauce is vegan they have vegan cheese vegan chorizo what else did i throw on here arugula is on top i have two different types of olives squash a little bit of jalapeno what else did i put on there i put on a few other things i also have lingonberries they're a really yummy fruit that i like to put on a recipe, I'll link up in an eye right there, but it's a vegan um, rice pudding recipe. You just top some of this on there, it's so good. For a recipe I'm about to make, I needed some vegan sour cream. I've never tried Forager before. Um, I just couldn't find Follow Your Heart. So I'm gonna try that out, don't know how it'll work. Also have some yeast. Heading up here, you're gonna see all the different vegetables my in-laws made for me specifically, because I love veggies and I loved pickled veggies. That's what all of them are. So we have like, we have a ton and I need to start getting through them. Okay, I have some sprouts. These are so great to put into your salad. So I've started doing that more often. Got some tofu right there. This is actually from Canada. I did an exchange video with a vegan YouTuber from Canada, Live Life Lori. She's amazing. I'll link that video up in an eye right there if you want to check it out. I haven't tried this out yet, but I'm super excited to do it soon. I need to get something that I can mix it up with so I can make a classic Caesar drink, which is a Canadian drink. It's kind of like an American Bloody Mary, I guess, but I haven't tried that yet. And you can only get it in Canada. Okay, we also got some pasta sauce. This is my favorite vegan yogurt ever. I usually have this for breakfast. I do this with like oats. You'll see something in the video later on. It's a different like oat medley that I put together and I basically scoop out some yogurt, scoop out some of that medley, and then maybe I'll sprinkle some fruit in there. So good, I love this stuff. You guys, if you can get Holy Land hummus, it's so good. This is my favorite type of hummus. It's so delicious. And it is made in Minnesota, by the way. I also got some organic mellow white miso. Up here, kombucha, because kombucha is my life. I'm sure most of you who are already doing Veganuary are already aware of this. I have heard there's already shortages of this vegan milk, but Oatly is so popular, you guys. If you have not tried it, it's so good. This is the barista edition. This is actually my husband's milk. He is using this in his coffee and he loves it, you guys. I mean, Oatly is his favorite go-to non-dairy milk outside of Ripple that we also buy. But Oatly and Ripple are like the main two that we buy. They're so good. So if you have not tried Oatly yet, Try your hardest to find it. I'm sure it's sold out almost everywhere because that's what happened last year. Okay guys, if there are any chai lovers, you're gonna find out that some places don't have vegan chai anymore. So Starbucks, uh, Caribou, if you have a Caribou near you, are not vegan. So any place that carries gray duck chai, which is made in Minnesota, by the way, uh, is vegan. So this is a great chai to pick up. You can mix it in with some Oatly. It's so good, you guys. I absolutely am obsessed with this chai. So we buy the bottle ones, and also when I go out, I buy like it all the time. We have some more kombucha. I have not actually tried this. My husband got it for me, and I just haven't tried it yet, but it's also Minnesota made. This right here, this golden dressing, this is probably my favorite uh, salad dressing. It is so good. Next, 
We have a balsamic vinaigrette, which is also vegan. How exciting. And then if you guys are looking for a barbecue sauce that is vegan, this brand right here, also Minnesota made, um, hopefully you guys can find it near you. It is my favorite by far. I've tried a few brands and this is the one that I would recommend every single time. We're also from Minnesota, so of course we have to have some maple syrup. Otherwise, I mean, we're not really Minnesotans then. And then this is kind of like our leftover area. So this is some vegan cranberry glazed meatloaf. This is also from Herbivorous Butcher. Um, this was pretty good. Probably not my favorite thing they've ever made, but it's still pretty good and we just have to finish it off. So this guys is some cranberry sauce. I made this for Thanksgiving and became obsessed with it. It's probably the best recipe for cranberry sauce that I've ever had before. I'll try and link it down below in the description box. And sometimes I just make this now. <laughs> I'm kind of like obsessed. It's so good. We have some sweet potato fries that we made at home that were leftovers. So I'll have to eat that at some point. This is actually from Christmas. We need to finish it off really, really soon. But this is a chai French toast casserole that is vegan. Um, and I made it, so I'll link that video up in an eye right there. It's a little recipe I made for Christmas. This is like a black bean rice salad right there. And then this is just a bunch of brown rice. So this is a middle compartment. It's not really a freezer. So we put generally our fake meats in here, mostly because then we don't have to thaw them before using. So this brand is great for protein. If you're someone who you need a heavy amount of protein, you're a muscle builder, whatever it may be, this is a great brand to look for because their protein levels are so good. 21 grams for I think one fourth. Yeah, one fourth of this package. It's insane. The one thing I will say about this is it tastes nothing like chicken, but it does taste more like mock duck. But I throw this in my salads just because I find that it's a great source of protein and I'm trying to build a bit more muscle. So I'm trying to get more protein than average. We also have some Dr. Prager burgers. I love Dr. Prager. If you're looking for a veggie burger that tastes nothing like meat, they are a great brand to go for. If you're looking for something that can replace like the meaty taste you're missing, Beyond Meat Burger is a great burger that you can buy in a lot of stores now. And we sometimes do have that around, we just don't have it right now. Another great thing for vegan protein is any type of vegan bacon. This one actually isn't as good as some other brands that we've gotten before. If you get Ives, it's Y-V-E-S in your area, get that one, it's so good. Um, but I have a whole video on vegan bacon, so if you wanna see that, I'll link it up in an eye. But we usually try to have vegan bacon around all the time just because it is a really, really great source of protein. We also have some vegan tempa. This is the brand I was talking about. If you can find their bacon, it's so good. I have some bread that is vegan from our local co-op to the freezer. Okay, we have more vegan bread. And we generally keep this frozen until we're using it just because it doesn't have any preservatives, which is great. These are also vegan. You're gonna find them at Whole Foods. At least that's where we found these. Maybe you'll find them somewhere else. Um, but we use these on like lazy Saturday mornings where we don't wanna make food. Same thing with this, it's just a savory version. Gardein is also an amazing company and this is one of their products that, we don't buy this a ton, we buy this very occasionally, but I love this brand, they have amazing products. We have some frozen grapes because these are a great snack to have around. Got some blueberries, stir fry veggies, we got that one over there as well. Some more frozen fruit. This is okra. And then of course, vegan ice cream, the best thing in the world. I got this from a vegan cuts video and I have not tried it yet, though I've started seeing this show up in my area. So that's pretty exciting. Oatly has some vegan ice cream. If you can find it in your area, their chocolate and strawberry is so good. So, so, so good. But they're a really great brand. Halo Top also does make some vegan ice cream. This actually was a seasonal flavor, so I don't know if you'll find this one now. I just haven't finished it yet because I was trying to be healthier. <laughs> Nada Moo is also another vegan company you can keep an eye out for. And this is actually my husband's. He really likes their cookies and cream. My favorite vegan ice cream of all time is this one right here. So this is coconut milk ice cream, which does make it lighter. So if you're someone who you don't like heavy ice cream, this is a great brand to check out. And their mint chip, no added sugar, is so minty and so good. And it's really not extremely sweet, which I appreciate. Okay, moving on. Okay, so this is the cereal that we get for ourselves. Kashi is a really good brand and they are also vegan. I don't know if all of their cereals are vegan, but it very much will say vegan on it if it is vegan. This is self-rising flour. Uh, we use this mostly when we're making vegan calzones at home that are delicious. I also made a recipe video for that. So if I have room, I'll link it up in an eye. This is cacao powder. So we have some powdered sugar here 
And then this guy is tapioca flour. We're still trying to figure out how to use this so we don't use that very often. We have a plethora of nuts here as I'm sure you are seeing. I love them. Lentils. Get on lentils, you guys. There are so many amazing things you can do with lentils and they have so much protein in them and they are so filling. So I cannot recommend enough. Find a lentil recipe that you love and you will have so much food. They're also really cheap. So if you're looking for something to bring down the cost every time you go grocery shopping, lentils. That's what you need to get. We also have cornmeal. Oh, I've become obsessed with cornbread. Wild rice almond flour. I think those are buckwheat groats. We haven't used those in a while. And then that's actually just cinnamon sugar. I needed it for a recipe and then made too much, but I'll find a reason to use it. If you're looking for an egg replacer, this is one of them. Bob's Red Mill egg replacer. It works out really, really nicely. I've not been disappointed. We got this a while back and just have not made a vegan pizza since, but this is a gluten-free pizza crust mix that is vegan. We have regular flour. We have some sugar, some coconut sugar, Nutritional yeast, you guys, is my life. And I'm not saying that as a joke. I sprinkle nutritional yeast on almost everything. So make sure you have nutritional yeast. It's going to be amazing. It also gives you that like cheesy flavor. If you have not heard of this, this is like the number one vegan staple out there. So definitely try out some nutritional yeast and try it out a few times because it, it has a particular flavor that can be really weird at first. And then the more you have it, the more you get used to it. I am speaking from personal experience. The first time I tried nutritional yeast, I was like, this is weird and now I'm obsessed. Got some chia seeds. This is two different brands of vegan chocolate chips. One is Enjoy Life, which is this like lighter color here, and the darker ones right there are actually dark chocolate. And that is by, oh no, I can't remember the brand name. L Lila something, do you remember Lil? Lily's. Is it Lily's? Yeah. But Lily's dark chocolate. It's also fair trade dark chocolate, so it's a really good brand to look out for. And then lastly, we have some brown sugar. Moving on. We love making vegan sushi. So of course we have a nice little rice maker here. We've got a ton of sushi rice. We also got some brown rice down there. Some onions, some garlic. This is our collection of vinegars. I got this in the Canadian exchange video that I talked about earlier up here, you guys. So this is full of Arbonne's protein powder. I mentioned this in one of my what I eat in a day videos that it's just so much easier to measure the amount I need for like a breakfast that I make in here. So I've been emptying them into there. Okay, and this guy is like our little snack drawer. So it's full of so many different snacks. A lot of these are snacks I get from my vegan cuts boxes that I just haven't gotten around to yet. Some of these are like protein bars that I bought or just snacks that we've gotten in other things. We're trying not to snack a ton, so we find that we're getting a lot of snacks and we just haven't eaten them yet. But so this is full of a bunch of vegan goodies. Okay, now we have the plethora of spices that are so important for vegan cooking in my opinion. I'm not gonna go through all of them because that would just take way, way, way too long. But what I would recommend is just get a lot of spices. That's really how you can flavor up a lot of things. Also, generally speaking, when you're craving like meaty things, you're often just craving the certain spices that went along with the meat. So what I would recommend is if you're doing like a veggie burger or something like that, try sprinkling on some of the spices that you would put on like a ground beef or something like that. And you'll find that you'll absolutely love it. So I definitely recommend carrying around a ton of spices. I think it really, really helps with vegan cooking. And I'm also someone that I just love flavorful things. So this is such a great way to add a ton of flavor to my food. One thing I will highlight right away and right now is actually black salt. I would recommend getting this, especially if you like to do eggs in the morning. Uh, you could do tofu scramble or there are some egg replacements that you can use as well. But if you're gonna do tofu scramble, add some black salt because this gives things an eggy flavor and it works so beautifully, it is crazy. Alrighty, we got some different shells. We're gonna be using this to make some vegan mac. We got some chickpeas, this is great, and also a great source of protein. So our edamame noodles, those are really, really great. And then this is actually just a uh, vegan mac that is made with chickpeas. So it's already got like a ton of protein in it as well. But this is pretty good texture wise. It doesn't, it feels very, very different. Just a heads up. And we've got some more noodles there. We got some coconut oil, some shortening, some olive oil that we need to refill this Friday. Like I said, we have to go grocery shopping. This is some sesame oil. My husband likes to use that in Asian cooking. We have a bunch of salt. We got a little pepper guy. Uh, these are bullion cubes. Guys, 
This is so much easier to have around than vegetable broth, or you can make your own vegetable broth, which would be a way better solution. So here is gonna be a lot of different snacks that we have. We have these, if you're wanting to make vegan s'mores, this is basically your vegan graham cracker s'more bowls. I got that a while ago in a vegan cuts video and I just haven't used it yet. If you are someone, you try nutritional yeast, you are not a fan, check out this brand. My husband does not like nutritional yeast, but he actually really likes this brand. And it does taste very, very different. It's kind of like the difference between cheddar and white cheddar. That's the best way I can describe it, but it's really, really good. We also have some of these guys, little seaweed guys for vegan sushi. We haven't tried these before, but we're excited to. We just got them recently. Some cauliflower crackers. We got some of those guys for eating with our vegan cheese. Interrupting myself because this should have been over here, but it was over by our TV because we were snacking on these last night. Finn crisps, you guys, are amazing. They are probably my favorite vegan cracker of all time. They're so good. Got some more chickpea crackers. This is a great brand if you're looking for oats. Purely Elizabeth has some great stuff. This one is so good. I just picked up more. Saffron Road is also a brand to check out for snacks. They have some really, really great things to try out. If you love Bombay Spice or like Indian Spices, you would love this. These are from my Vean Cuts video I just did recently. These are one of my favorite snacks ever. They're so good. Even if you don't like mushrooms, because I'm not a huge fan, but I'm starting to like them more. This is still an amazing snack. I love them so much. We have a ton of vegan soups that are Asian brands or Asian flavor. And I'm gonna do a whole video on this later, so I'm not gonna go into that right now. We have some wasabi and soy sauce almonds. I usually throw those in like salads that I think that flavor will work well with. My husband is obsessed with these. He does say these are really strong though. I haven't tried them yet, but it's pretty strong wasabi. These are some pretzels we got from Whole Foods. And then also another snack. We have not tried this yet though, so I can't tell you if it's good or not, but I'm excited to try it out. Last stop, you guys, right here. Okay, so all the way up there, Luma Linda is a really great brand if you're looking for vegan products. They're actually based in California. They have a ton of stuff. They got this taco filling we haven't tried out yet. I think this one is like tuna or something. Yeah. So we haven't tried that yet, but I'm excited. There's also this vegan steak. We picked it up at a vegan bodega near us and we're excited to try that. I haven't done it yet. We got some moringa powder. We have some goji berries. I throw these mostly in my salad. So there's just something easy I can throw in there and they're packed full of nutrients. So they got a lot of great stuff in them. And then I just got this in my vegan cuts box. I have to figure out a way to use it. Got some dried cherries, dried raspberries. And this is a bunch of different vegan um, protein powder. This is the one I was talking about earlier that's in that jar. And this is vegan. In fact, the whole brand is vegan. So you should be fine to use it. Heart of Palm, you guys, if you like seafood or lobsters or stuff like that, get this. Heart of Palm is a great seafood replacement in certain recipes. So I think I'm gonna be putting out a recipe video sharing one of our favorite things to make. We actually got this from Purple Carrot but it's uh, vegan lobster rolls and my husband loves it and he's not a vegan. Um, and so we make this recipe all the time, it's so good. But we use these, like we always have these on hand. Then we got some chickpeas, we have some pumpkin right here that we're gonna use in a pumpkin chili, sweet corn, kidney beans, black beans, more uh, garbanzo beans or chickpeas water chestnuts because those are my favorite thing to have in like stir fry. If you are looking for vegan or vegetarian marshmallows, Dandies is the brand to go. They have so many great things. We got this a while back and we still have not made it yet, but this is 100% vegan. I'm super excited. Got some craisins right there. I throw those in my salads as well. We got this a while back and it's basically like coconut with flavoring. It doesn't taste anything like bacon. It's from Canada. Apple cider vinegar is amazing. And we usually get apple cider vinegar with mother just because it's healthier for you. Jackfruit is also a really fun thing to play around with. If you're gonna be making some vegan foods, you'll often see this used in like vegan sloppy joes or whatever, or like certain types of shredded meat, they'll use this instead and then have like a sauce you go with it. So these are really great, we love using these. These are actually, I know they say Canada, but I'm pretty positive we got these in Northern Minnesota. And these are just some fruit jams. Okay, remember how I said I was gonna show you an oat concoction? This is it, so it's got 
some raisins, obviously some oats, which is what this is. It has a few different types of nuts in there. There's cinnamon, maple syrup, and I think I also might have put some sunflower seeds in there, which is this guy right here. I just got this from my Vegan Cuts box. I have not tried it yet. I got this from a Vegan Cuts box a while ago, and I just haven't tried it out yet, though New Year's Eve just happened, so give your liver some love, you guys. And then these are a bunch of bars. This is probably my favorite vegan, like, breakfast protein bar. I'm obsessed. This brand, they're called Good Snacks. You can find them on Amazon. They're so good, you guys. They're delicious. Got some Lara bars, and I have some more Lara bars that I haven't put away yet. I think they're sitting out in our living room. Just haven't put those away yet. This is okay, you guys. I'm not obsessed with this brand. I bought a few, and they're just all right. I also got these from a Vegan Cuts box. These guys right here, they're mushroom bars. Okay, guys, last stop. So this is kind of like apple cider vinegar. Um, we got this at one of the vegan events I went to recently. Some cherry syrup from Grand Marais. This is a hot sauce that is vegan. So if you're looking for hot sauces, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. My favorite is Cholula, which is also vegan, but I don't have any right now. We have some seasoned rice vinegar, some red wine vinegar. This here I got in my Bean Cuts box. I don't think it should replace honey, but you'll see shortly what I do use instead of honey. It's not this. This is more like a sweetener to me. Letco is great, you guys. If you have a Cub Foods near you, you'll be able to find this. It's, I mean, it's basically like Nutella. It tastes different, but that's essentially kind of what it's like. Nutiva is a little bit more like Nutella. If you're looking for something like that, um, they're a pretty great brand. We also got some agave. We have some light corn syrup. And then this is the brand I was talking about. Unfortunately, I think they just closed, which makes me so sad. They're my favorite vegan honey brand out there. So this is, this is honey made from apples. It is so good. This one is a flower pollen infused one. And then what was this one again? Slippery Elm. And then this one here is their regular flavor. But if you are looking for a vegan honey out there, Bumble Bloom is actually a Canadian based company that does make vegan honey. And I believe we can get it in the States. I think you just have to order it off of their website. That is everything in my vegan kitchen for food. So I hope that helps you in some way. Sorry, our kitchen wasn't more full of vegan goodies. But like I said, most of these we constantly have on hand. So you're seeing a lot of the vegan staples I have in my kitchen. And I hope this was helpful in some way just to see maybe some products you should check out for yourself or some vegan staples you should have in your household this month. If you wanna see any other area of my household and see what vegan products I have there, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to put out more of these types of videos for you guys. And for those of you who are participating in Veganuary, I wish you the best of luck. I would never go back to not being vegan ever again in my life. I absolutely love being vegan. It is a decision I will make over and over and over again. I just feel so amazing in so many different ways. Um, if you want to know more, I do have a why I'm still vegan video out that'll kind of explain why like I'm never not going to be vegan. Like I'm just obsessed. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel and you want some more videos about vegan products, vegan unboxings, vegan recipes, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to ring that bell so you can get notified for all the other Veganuary videos I have coming out this month. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. He says bye too. Where are you? Come say bye. Bye.